welcome to the session of communication with Prajitpa. So what we are going to look at today is how actually the way we speak can impact how people perceive us, right? So especially when it comes to interviews, are you a kind of a person who gets jitters or do you feel nervous while going for an interview? Do you have a habit of speaking fast? If yes, please listen to this session and I'm sure we are going to crack this. All right, so typically when we speak fast, we are a little difficult to understand. I want you to listen to this clip and tell me if you can understand him really well. All right, let's hear him. Panival. Yes, sir. About Asis. What Asis is all about. Good afternoon, sir. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. And my name is Asish Paliwal. I belong from Mauli, a small town near Baudepur, around 36 kilometers. And I passed my schooling from Government Senior Secondary School. And I scored uh, 80 and 65 percent in my 10th and 12th. And currently, I am pursuing my BTEC from a respected institute, Gitanli Institute of Technical Studies, Dabo, in a 2018-22 batch of electrical engineering in 81 uh, percentage. And in this pandemic coronavirus era, I done so many courses online or uh, by the various of platforms and uh, which include regarding to the electrical and apart from electrical is my interest and my hobbies are traveling and uh, i done so many volunteership uh, pandemic like food delivering packages to spread out the happiness my issues are i am a good listener sweet learner and a time punctual it's all about me sir thank you very much yeah so when you listen to this guy out here did you understand everything that he said yeah. Okay, so here's the pressure. Let's look at somebody who has some experience, right? So let's see if this pace and the delivery that he has, does he sound confident? Let's hear him. Two to three or two to four. So let's go ahead. Shall we start, Saikiran? Yeah. Let's observe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, Saikiran. Thank you so much. Uh, so I would love to know something about you. Like, can you tell me something about yourself? So myself, uh, Saikiran, I belong to Kamo. Uh, I have three years of experience in uh, testing and around one year experience in uh, automation testing. And coming to my project, that is a retail marketing project. Uh, in your project, there are three stages for there. Uh, that is that all, uh, stage one and stage two and stage three. So in stage one, software will fill the all information of the product. And in stage two, stage two. So in stage two, uh, buyer will uh, uh, will uh, update and buyer will add to share to the stage two. So in stage two, buyer will validate the information. So once it is accepted, I will share to stage two. Stage three. So in stage three, uh, support team will validate all the information from the stage one uh, and stage two, and it will share to the further master and engineer. So this is a small description of uh, my project. And coming to my roles and responsibilities, uh, so writing the textures and uh, uh, giving the reports to the uh, in the form of HTML, and participating in the daily and meetings. So, so that, that's 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 it. Who is conducting your daily standard meeting? Is it product manager or your engineering manager, QA manager or who? A product manager uh, normally will connect them. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Got yeah, so what do you have to say about him? So we saw two people speaking just now. One was a fresher and another is an experienced person. Both of them spoke really, really fast first person, it was really difficult to understand him because of his pace. Second person, the, fa the pace was fast, but he was also nervous. If you look at him, how he is sitting, he is sitting straight, but his shoulders are drooping. That is a sign of being, not being confident. Okay, that is a sign of lack of confidence. Plus, if you see, he was, he was swinging like this. 
he was going back and forth this is also a sign of nervousness so when we are sitting for an interview we must make sure that we sit straight with our back straight with our shoulders back right we don't move we move our hands we make gestures we keep our face pleasant we smile so that the other person also feels pleasant about us so we carry a pleasant personality but then we never swing we never fidget because fidgeting touching something playing with a pen going tak 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 okay tapping your table moving your foot in a gym of foot action all these are signs of nervousness okay and we should never get into any of such actions another thing that i want you to remember when you get into an interview is to keep your hands open don't cross your arms or cross your legs that is a sign of being con- underconfident nervous closed aggressive so on and so forth right so let's not get into any position like this where we can be considered as somebody who is nervous not confident yeah so definitely your words matter your tone matter and your body language also matters right so if we go back a slide you would see that this person out here his posture is really good he is looking confident he is possibly feeling confident also but his pace was really high and that is the reason we couldn't understand everything that he said okay if we talk about the second person he is somehow not that great greatly confident he is going back and forth with his words as well as with his body right so that that shows that he is not confident enough possibly he knows much more than the first guy yeah but the lack of confidence is actually killing it for him okay so let's make sure whenever we sit for an interview we project confidence with the tone with the pace with the body that we have all right we move ahead to see what exactly we need to do right so we spoke about this already fast pace is difficult to follow and is a sign of nervousness okay why is it taken as a sign of nervousness is because when we are nervous don't we just want to finish it off we just want to finish it off so that we don't have to carry the feeling that we have nervousness for a longer period of time okay so make sure that we choose a slower pace so what is the right pace then the right pace for us is 130 to 150 words per minute now you may actually say that okay those that's too many words 130 to 150 words per minute that's too many words per minute no when we actually speak fast we speak something close to 300 words per minute okay so the ideal rate for you to actually understand how slow you want to speak is around 130 to 150 words per minute there is a way you can track that you can actually download a software on your phone which will type as you speak right then you can start a timer on your phone and see how many words per minute do you actually speak right so let's figure it out when we speak how many words per minute do we actually speak yeah i really want you to perform this and check for yourself how many words per minute do you speak okay and how much more do you have to work on your pace because we definitely want to choose a slower speed as we speak okay moving on whenever we feel jitters it makes us really uncomfortable and nervous so what we really want to do is we should get, become calm from inside we need to bring the heart rate down for that and the best way to do that will be by breathing deeply so what we are going to do right now is learn 
how to control your heart rate so that we get a grip on ourselves. So all of us actually feel jitters typically when we are getting into a presentation or typically when you, we are getting into an interview or any unknown situation. So to counter that, we we'll breathe at the count of three and breathe out at the count of three. Right? Let's do it together right now. So after doing this thrice, can you see that you're feeling calm within? Are you feeling better now? A lot of oxygen through your lungs. Is that making you feel better about yourself? That is the effect that you want to carry to an interview. Okay, so make sure that you perform this right before you enter the interview. Okay, so that could be either a Zoom interview or it could be a physical interview. So right before you enter the room, you can actually perform this exercise so that you, are, you feel calmer within. Okay, your heart rate goes down and you feel calmer within. Second thing that I want you to do is to make sure that your throat opens up. Okay, typically when we are nervous, our voice shakes. Yeah, if we feel that there is a vibration in the voice. To control that, there is a great exercise which should be done in the privacy of either a washroom or your house. I have to do it in front of the camera so that you understand it in a much better way. All right, so what we are going to do is we are going to take our tongue out, stick it out completely and sing Humpty Dumpty, the nursery rhyme, rhyme that we learnt when we were in either junior kg or senior kg or even prior to that. Right? So, I'm going to do it now. I want you to practice this with me. Okay? So, one, two, three. Isn't that fun? I'm sure you're going to enjoy doing this. Let's do it once again. Should we? Okay. One, two, three. I know I'm looking really funny. But I'm, I have to do it, and so do you, to get good, better control of your throat. This will definitely make you sound more confident. When your throat opens up, when your voice doesn't shake, you are definitely going to come across as a more confident person. So let's move on. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Let's move on and see how this person actually speaks. Right? Let's see how he sounds. Alright? Tell me something about you in brief. And uh, first showcase of course, your achievements as well yes. as your extracurricular achievements. Everything. Yes. Sir. About your skills. So, first of all, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I am Ali Asghar Tiriwala. I am born and brought up in Udaipur, Rajasthan. I have completed my schooling from St. Paul Senior Secondary School uh, with a percentage of 64 in my 10th standard and 60% in my 12th. Uh, currently, I am pursuing my MBA from Gitanjali Institute of Technical Studies and further I am looking forward to build my career in the specialization of HR and marketing. My hobbies are that I love to practice uh, mixed martial arts, I love traveling and cooking 
my strength sir can be that i have uh, leadership and uh, management skills in me and i'm a very calm minded person so even in the panic situation i can take very good and sensible decisions and my weakness is that sir i want to build more confidence in me so that i can present the best way i can what is your career objective ali uh, so my career objective is to basically build my career uh, in hr and marketing so the, for the initial year i can uh, get a good job and uh, my long term aim is to start my own business what kind of business you want to start so uh, i think i i would like to start my business in restaurant uh, restaurant and hotel chain okay so what do you have to say about it we saw two interviews earlier where they were speaking really fast what about this guy out here do you think he is speaking clearly do you think he is speaking well isn't he he sounds really nice because he is speaking slow right however there is one thing that i would change about him was when in the beginning he was being impatient and he started without letting the interviewer complete first we'll just go through that part again to see how this could have been better okay tell me something about you in brief and first of all your achievements as well yes. as your extra curricular achievements everything yes sir. all your skills so first of all i would like to thank what do you have to say that yeah? shouldn't he have waited for the interviewer to finish the question it's always better to listen first let the interviewer finish and then you start with your answer so this person how much ever good he must have spoken the interviewer's initial experience has been ruined because he has not really let the interviewer finish whatever he was speaking yeah so it is really important to be patient to listen actively to let understand the question completely and another really important thing is to give some time think about what the interviewer has to say okay and then start you may already know the answer but it gives the interviewer an impression that okay you are thinking about it right and that is a sign of respect okay so whenever somebody asks you a question whenever the interview asks you a question take some time take a pause of about 15 20 seconds and then start talking okay that will definitely create a better impression for you let's move on so modulating your voice when we heard the last person we understood that his pace was slower also we understood that he is speaking in a certain way so we need this skill for ourselves there is a trivia about us presidents the us presidents all of them they speak in six standard level english now if you actually look at them or hear them speak you would never realize that they are using basic language how actually when they are the key to their sounding amazing is voice modulation so we need the skill to sound great also modulation will help you sound great to hold you more help you more uh, hold attention it will also help you to convey what you really want to convey okay so let's get going first and foremost i voice modulation requires you to speak slow maintaining moderately slow pace is extremely important so that the other person your listener can understand you really well let's assume that you speak really fast and because you spoke fast your listener was unable to understand or process the full message that you want to convey will it be of any help no right so that means we really need to talk slowly so that the listener can 
process what you say in a much better way. The second advantage is for you. When we speak slowly, we get extra time to think about what we want to say. So you get time to actually think about the next word, the next sentence, the next idea. That's why speaking slowly is so important. Also, when you speak slowly, that is taken as a sign of being confident and also a sign of that you know what you're saying. Such a great advantage, isn't it? Okay. So the next thing that we are going to talk about is pauses. Pauses actually are the commas and full stops of spoken English. So whenever there should be a comma, we should take pause. Whenever there should be a full stop, when we end the sentence, let's take a pause. We should take a pause when we want to highlight a specific word. Also, if we want to introduce a new idea, we should take a pause. So pausing definitely makes our speech much, much better. Also, pausing helps you breathe and it also helps your listener while processing. Because as you pause, they get some additional time to process what you're saying. Okay, so pauses are really, really important again. Moving on. Pitch. Pitch is the volume at what we speak. Typically, we should choose a moderately high pitch. Okay. We should not go really low because if we go really low, that will be taken as a sign of underconfidence. And at no cost, we want to sound underconfident. Right. So, we should choose a pitch which is moderate and then introduced variations as we speak. So variation means going up and down, up and down with your voice. Typically, in music, we take our voice up and down, isn't it? We show variation. That's what music is. So with pitch, we create music as we speak. It's really important to sound great, to hold attention, it is one of the best techniques to hold attention and to sound good. The next thing that we are moving on to is tone. Tone is the emotion that we feel for any topic. Using the tone is really important as if we don't use the tone, we can't really convey what exactly we want to say or how we really feel about that topic. I'll just give you a quick example. So, a friend of mine used to speak like this. I really like working here. I really enjoy working with this company. I'm really excited to work here. Is this how love, enjoyment, excitement sound like? No, right? So, without tone, it is all just words. They are just words with no meaning, isn't it? So, how sh should he really speak? Shouldn't he say, I really enjoy working here. I am really excited to work here. I love working here. That's how love, enjoyment, excitement sounds like. So, we need to speak with tone. We need to use tone so that our words carry meaning as we speak. Okay? Moving on, stressing the words. Now, stressing the words. Sorry, my throat is drying up. So, stressing the words basically help us convey the correct meaning. If we don't stress the words in any sentence, we don't convey much, right? Let's see how. Stressing really helps us by conducting an activity, right? So, the activity is that I am going to read this sentence. I didn't say he stole the money. Seven times, highlighting only one word at a time. And I want you to understand 
the meaning that is it conveys all right so let's hit it to stress the word and we take the pitch high i'm going to stretch the word and also take a pause sometimes okay so i'll read and let's see how the meaning changes all right so i'll begin with i i didn't say he stole the money what am i really trying to say here not me i didn't say somebody else could have said right now the word didn't i didn't say he stole the money so i'm denying it outrightly no i have not said it okay and the tone that i'm using is anger isn't it okay so the next word is say i didn't say he stole the money right now i'm sounding a little frustrated irritated yeah because somebody is blaming me that you said it you said it you said it okay so i am saying oh stop blaming me i didn't say he stole the money okay moving on he i didn't say he stole the money so i am saying that somebody else has stolen the money not him right the word stole i didn't say he stole the money so he is possibly borrowed it okay or he's taken it with permission but he's certainly not stolen it right now the article the talks about specific things so what does it say when you st stress that let's see i didn't say he stole the money so i'm saying that he has not stolen that money that specific money so if there is money in the cupboard and money on the table and if somebody is saying that he stole the money from the table i say no no not that money the other money so i didn't say he stole the money okay moving on to the word money i didn't say he stole the money so he has stolen something else but not money right so seven different words seven different meanings now did i convey any of this meaning when i just read it plainly i didn't say he stole the money i didn't right so that means when we don't stress anything we don't convey any meaning and we don't convey any meaning we leave it up to the person to imagine whatever he or she wants to understand out of it so the listener decides the meaning and not the speaker which can cause blunders which causes misunderstandings right and then we say that people can't understand us how will they understand us if we don't convey it correctly right so that's why stressing is so very important okay moving on i want you to actually observe how mr narayan murthy speaks i personally believe that his skills his voice modulation skills are impeccable he speaks really really well okay i want you to observe his pace the pauses that he takes how he stresses on the words to convey the meaning right now the language again the language that he is using is really basic in spite of that he will end up sounding really great because he is using voice modulation here in this particular interview actually he always does okay another aspect that i really want you to observe when i play this video is that how he changes the pattern of the modulation typically it so happens that when people start modulating their voices they follow a typical pattern like da 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 
da da da da da da da da da. Okay, when we speak like this, it is still monotone. Although you are modulating your voice, but if every sentence is going to sound the same, it is still going to be monotonous and it is still going to be boring. And people won't be able to focus on what you are saying. Okay, so what I want you to observe is how Mr. Murthy actually breaks the pattern. How he actually, every third or fourth sentence, how he changes the pattern from da 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 to da 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 da. Okay, so every sentence or every second or third sentence should be different in modulation from each other. Okay, let's hear him and then talk about this again. How does the leader train himself? How does he groom himself for scale? Equation is fine, but how do I train myself? What do I do? So what did you do to yourself? Nayan Murthy of a startup to a billion dollar corporation. First of all, the biggest instrument for improvement for leaders is feedback. Most leaders who failed in the world failed because they cut off the feedback channels. They allowed only positive signals to come to them. Whether it was Mrs. Indira Gandhi, whether it was Richard Nixon, whether it is Robert Mugabe today in uh, Zimbabwe, every one of these people, they cut off the feedback channel. Therefore, you have to create an environment where people give honest feedback. And if you use that feedback, when you sit alone, you, you know, alone, and reflect on it, I think there is an opportunity for everybody to improve. <laughs> the second I find is to set aside ego when it is learning. For example, when we started the leadership training program at Infosys, we, we were the first company to start a leadership institute in India. Uh, my colleague Finish handled a course on selling. We all sat down. Even though he was junior to us, we all sat down, we wrote down notes, we learned. And we were the beneficiaries. Similarly, when Mohan Pai did his course on finance, we all sat down and we all learned. We are much better today because of our attending those courses. So once we understand that learning from others, even though they are junior to you, is for your own betterment. I think, by and large, you can think of that. So, what do, we, what do you have to say about Mr. Murthy? How does he speak? Isn't he just brilliant? So, he should be our role model when it comes to voice modulation. I really want you to practice speaking like him. Slowly, with a lot of pauses, keeping your calm, okay? and stressing on the right words, pronouncing every word correctly, so that you always convey what you want to. Okay? Now, as a last video, I really want you to watch her and see how she speaks. Okay? And do you think she can land this job? I want you to answer this question. Attendance management project. Okay. I've well, also participated. Let's begin. Yes, Gauri. Tell me, tell me something about you. Okay. Uh, thank you for allowing me to introduce myself. My name is Gauri Shramadi. I am from Udaipur, Rajasthan. I'm doing computer science engineering from Gitanjali Institute of Technical Studies. I secured 9.2 CGPA in 10th standard, 73.4 CG uh, percentage in 12th standard, 
and currently in engineering my aggregate score is 77 percentage computer science is omnipresent that is it is present in every field and hence i have invested these last 3.5 almost years in uh, developing my software skills my technical skills include the programming in python java c c++ databases i am also familiar with uh, web development kubernetes docker ansible etc so these all are my technical skills and i've also used these skills to build several projects which include user management project and attendance management project i've also participated in smart india hackathons of which in one we also uh, got to the finals uh, these all were my technical skills coming to my extra curricular activities i love to dance uh, particularly semi classical dance i also like to read write and paint i have been the student editor of our college's newsletter bits and bytes and currently i am uh, one of the cultural heads of our students club so i i have also participated in several donation camps uh several donation camps as i am uh, a member of the rotary club udaipur i consider myself as a very focused person uh, and uh, i always work uh, towards my goals in a very efficient manner i am a team player and very optimistic in tough times and lastly i would like to say that why not start the journey of my success by the success of joining tcs thank you so much what do you think has she got the job okay yes she has she cracked the interview she got the job and she she's currently working in hsbc if i'm not wrong so she's really successful and she cracked this interview with just because she was a extremely confident look at her body language the way she's sitting she's sitting with she's absolutely oozing confidence If you look at her face, she is really looking pleasant. Her face is pleasant. She is smiling. She is using the pace in, at the pace which the listener can understand well. She talked about all her education. She talked about her projects. Although she is a fresher, she talked a lot about her extracurricular activities also. Her experience in totality. and more than anything if you just look at her speak the clarity with which she is speaking that's what is best about her i highly recommend you watching this video in totality so that you understand how well she speaks and if possible we'll try to actually speak like her and mr murthy right so that's about it from my side any questions i would definitely like to hear from you and answer any questions that you may have thank you so much for attending the session with me and i hope to see that you actually improve upon yourself and i really hope that you get the job that you so desire take care all the best bye bye